Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a creative art prompt for your art journal. We are doing a very loose floral abstract illustration. I'm starting with a light watercolor wash in a roughly circular shape. So you can see it's sort of roughly a flower. Nothing really specific, just a simple bloom. And then using a little bit more orange for the second one. A similar loose floral here. I'm rinsing my brush and making more of a transparent and clear wash around the edges. Okay, and then for some loose leaf shapes, this is a little bit of a green. I'm starting with a lighter color and it's really translucent to start and we'll build up our layers as we go. This exercise is meant to be done fairly quickly and without too much over planning. So try to paint really going with your instinct on colors and shapes and keep it more playful and loose. And don't worry about anything looking like a particular type of flower. While your colors are still wet, you can play with adding that wet on wet technique where you put a second color right on top and see the colors mix up together. And for some interest, you can experiment also with the different texture and shapes. So this one's a little bit more dotted. Maybe it's a berry-like structure or maybe a stacked floral. Also, you can keep in mind your sizes. I'm varying up my sizes and shape. So those first few were larger, and then these are gonna be a little bit smaller, these lavender ones. All right, so once those first layers have dried and you have your abstract shapes in, your loose wash, we can go in and start adding more details and textures. I'm going to start with the leaves, just adding some thin lines and shapes and building on my second and third layers. All right, and if your flower areas are dry, we can go in and add some more details here as well. And just think about varying up your different marks. So some might be dots, lines, little splashes, whatever you feel like.
Okay, so now I'm going to use my fine liners. These are waterproof ink pens. And these are fun to add on when you're doing a loose floral illustration. These have two different end tips. One is a brush pen and it's flexible. And then one is just a shorter tip and it's harder. So you'll get different results from both. And just keep in mind, you don't need anything special. Use what you have and approach this with a sense of play and have fun with experimenting in different line shapes and textures and pressures. You can also keep adding some floral elements with your ink pens. And just a quick reminder, remember to hit that subscribe button on my channel so you never miss a brand new video. All right, so when you're happy with your ink portion, you can also choose to add on a background. I took a look at the overall piece and I felt like I really wanted to add a little background to bring this all together. I'm mixing up a light blue with a little bit of an aqua blue touch and I'm going in and I'm putting a rough square around the back. It doesn't have to be perfect. Go ahead and do this step if you like.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a ton of fun creating this loose floral illustration. I'll see you in the next video.